Hello, in today's video we're going to concentrate on puzzles. Been doing well in daily chess uh, in the 1800s now, but I need to play more rapid, so I'm going to play rapid for the whole month until preparation is done for the tournament late May. 2900, I reach it again. There is a, a video about that, an older video on Army Veteran Gamer, but I intend to make reaction videos on my own st my own stuff and other stuff so there'll be a playlist for that when i get a camera puzzle rush on stream the the day of the release of this video there will be a stream i'm going to try to beat my record on those these are old scores i haven't been doing so hot i tried a few times so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna just secure a decent score Concentrate on present rush, and I got a few things to tell you. So check timestamps. If you ever get bored, check timestamps, and every time I'll give a piece of information regarding my prep or tournaments or uh, puzzles in general, uh, check my uh, check my check my timestamp to man maneuver throughout the video, because I had a difficulty talking and trying to solve these uh, puzzles at the same time. I have no problem sharing what I'm thinking as I'm doing the puzzles, but um, I was talking about stuff that was not even related to the given puzzles, and I have all sorts of trouble today, so let's try to do a better performance. Now those, though, the, the 21st one I'm going to do as fast as possibly can, because a lot of them are like this, back rank stuff like that, and made in one, and stuff like this, but it eventually becomes a little more difficult, and will slow down. So, all right, okay, so he, he's, um, I can check him, he's, he's spinned. So this is a strange uh, puzzle to get uh, that early. <laughs> hit the queen, yeah. And I hit the queen. So he, wow. So, but, but I take on check. Okay, so a bit fancy for early on, but you see how straightforward it is right after. So, it, okay, so uh, I could take the queen probably. Not much to say on those. So that is a very common one for those daily puzzles like this. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Queen's hanging. On check. Anything, anything forcing that I see. Oh, maybe this. Looks good. Anything else? Okay, so, oh, okay, there's a rook there I can win. So, this sack the queen takes and rook takes. Back rank again. And this one is sack the rook this time. Check, and we're gonna meet him. Uh, well, I suppose, well, I have to take the queen anyways. I can't even move. I could block with my queen, but that'd be silly. Well, okay, so... Maybe I can try to find a way to win one of his... Uh, rooks? Everything is hanging for black. You just gotta find a, a right way to check him. You can go many places. I will win this at least. I have my suspicions that here the puzzle will end.
I wish I could go here. Yeah, I think that's it. Just check him like this. He could go... Um, up. Then what? Hit the bishop again. Thinks about winning the bishop. And I win the bishop. Now I'm checking though, is there danger? I have an escape square. Yeah, and I hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had to check if, 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 if it was safe. Uh, whoa. Okay, we have a, a long, long move. It looks really good for me. to reach a 20. Isn't that mate? Okay, now I'll slow down a bit. So, um, one thing I'll tell you, if you do a puzzle, you should count the material. Okay, so two rooks, queen, queen, one, two, three, four pieces, one, two, three. See, so I'm down a piece, one, two, three, four pieces, one, two, three. I'm down a piece. So the goal of a puzzle is to have the significant advantage, winning, completely winning at the end. Right now I'm down a piece, so if I find a way to win a piece, then it, becomes, it only becomes even. That's why it's important to count material all the time. Um, so... That being said, then I look for anything that's forcing. Make sure my, there's no danger to my king also. Sometimes it's made in one or something, so I've got to be careful uh, to uh, check him all the time, otherwise I'm going to get made and I'm going to see probably some of those puzzles, if I do well this time. So, uh, anything forcing. So the most forcing thing is check, look for check, double attack, pins, forks, whatever. Sacrifices, anything. So I do, I do, see, I should, I do see this move. Uh, this is very forcing, goes there. And I maybe I can check again what happens if it goes there. Doesn't mean it's right, but uh, I'm just looking at forcing stuff. And sometimes it just solves it. The puzzle solves itself, like in this case. But when you do a puzzle, make sure that you see the whole position in your, mi in your mind, the whole sequence in your head before making the move. So, right? So imagine... My queen being here, his king being here, and he can't go anywhere. He's made. So once you see it, you execute. You double check or triple check, you execute. When I do puzzles, I give myself 10 minutes per puzzle. Like in a critical position on over the board chest. After 10 minutes, I go with my instinct, okay? I go with whatever uh, sometimes i succeed but after 10 minutes i consider that uh, i ran all the time i just gotta play something so I'll, I'll just play whatever and go along you're gonna see later if i go far enough this is gonna happen so there is this uh this check is very forcing of course he can't do that he's gonna get busted but if he goes there he's getting busted anyways so it's, it's going to be simply this and then i go then then i go like that and uh completely there's no yeah i was about about to say there's no solution now here i'll look at the material again two, p two rooks two rooks two p so even material i do have a fork and i hit a queen but he can taste this it's just an exchange Okay, what if I took this then to win in exchange? He can't do that because I hit his queen. So I do this, I hit his queen. 
If he takes back, this is hanging. Okay, I'll admit I did not see that check. <laughs> Does it change anything? So, uh, after I take with my king, he checks me, I go back. I'll be okay. Just gotta be careful with this though. But it doesn't change anything. Because uh, I'm up a rook, so even if... Uh, it, I don't care how he does it. He can check me before if he wants to or not. Or in fact, what am I talking about? This is covered. So I'm overthinking this. And in this situation, I should go back. Okay. Um, I forgot to comment what I was thinking about. If I take this, he cannot take back with a pawn. Okay. Now again, count material. So rook, rook, piece, rook, piece, piece. So I'm already up material. If I take this, it's a catastrophe for him. And I do cover my bishop. Oh yeah, but uh, what I did not consider is rook takes. All right, now I'm already up material. Is that a defense? Some sort of a defensive thing? Yeah, maybe it is because it sort of threatens threatens to um, to win my queen. So I think it's a defensive puzzle because I'm already up. So how do I? Okay, so how do I defend against that? Uh, let's say I do this. We're even material now. Well, the goal is to be completely winning. So what am I missing? Okay. Wow. I can take here because he spinned. Oh my god. This one was... Well, it caused me a lot of trouble. I couldn't see it at all. Look, I can take the spawn, he can't, oh my god. Yeah, I had other problems with this one. Then I just take the rook, I think, and that's it. Wow, 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 this one was really difficult for me. Did you see it right away? Please let me know. Or oh, how fast did you see it? I'll try to redeem myself. No, it's not about speed, it's about precision, but still, man. This one was really hard. This looks really good, doesn't it? Can't go anywhere. Right? Redeem myself. So I see... Uh, what do I see? I can take that and cannot take. I do see that. So is there a threat or something that you can do? Is there something crazy you can do to mess me up? Or is that the answer? I think that's the answer. So why does he sack the queen like this? It's just to avoid maybe the delay mate or something by one move. It's like a computer move. Humans will probably resign this in the previous situation that we just saw. So what's very forcing is this check. I think it's made straight up. Is it made in one? I think it is. So you gotta, tr you gotta trust what your eyes see. And that's what it is, made in one. Okay. So I could, uh, he, he, because he can't move at all. That's a solution. He can't move anywhere because it's quite covered by my knight. 
This is completely forcing. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. So his king is... Uh, he wants to duel me or something, right? What's this variant? There's a variant called King of the Hill. I don't know what it works though. Double attack? So I attack his king. I was a double check, sorry. Double check. Maybe. What do we do after though? Double check. Uh, moves over or something. So everything, like, not everything, but this is hanging. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, he's up a piece though. Aha, so I gotta keep that in mind. He's up a piece. So maybe it's a mate. Maybe I can try to mate him. Like, what's the escapes? That's an escape for sure. Like this double check is interesting because there's he cannot go anywhere else than here. So after that, there's this escape. I was thinking this. I think it's maybe this instead. Yeah. So I think I got it. So it would be check. Goes there. And then I check him. Now even if he blocks, I, I, I take it's the same situation. But he can't go anywhere. This is covered. And the knight covers this. The, the whole diagonal. Yeah. This. Check like that. Okay. You see how sure I am before I make a move? Usually, when it gets much tougher, I'll be less sure, but for the longest time possible, you gotta be really sure of what you see and trust yourself and see the whole sequence. By the way, do you see? It's probably made in one already. So again, you gotta trust what you see with your eyes. It seems like made in one. I don't see what you can do on this. Trust myself and just play it. So it's a bit messy, so I have to check. So rook, rook, piece, 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 piece. piece. Okay, so so it's even material. This is completely hanging. Is there a way I can uh, win this? Or I could, first of all, check him. He takes, and then I do a discovered attack on his knight by checking him like this, and. And then I'll take his knight, and he cannot block because my, my knight covers this, and I win this knight. So I win a piece. And it's always check anyways. Like this. That. Okay, he, he does it. I said he can't. He can, but it's even worse. I think. Well, it looks like uh, somebody's gonna make a queen soon, so I better, I better uh, be quick. Okay. Um, end game puzzle. I like those. So I, I go there, for instance. When you get in front of the king in end game, it's called getting the opposition. Uh, but uh, it's not going to be a, a theme right now. Anyways, I'll cover these things in in the future. Like, let's say I play a game and I reach a pawn in game at one point, it will happen throughout my journey. Then I'll talk about these principles. Anyways, I, I don't want this king to be able to escape. And um, of course, he's going to push down. And maybe I can push this, double attacking this. Now, if he pushes down again, do I have. So I could check him like this, it goes up, check him, goes down, and I'll, I'll, I'll mate him. So yeah, he doesn't have time to do anything. And he can't do anything, like, if he moves up, I push. If he takes... Do I... Yeah, I push, right? No, he doesn't have time to uh, to stop me. Yeah, he doesn't have time to stop. So I, I'm gonna push. And push and push and push and push.
I don't know, maybe this and something like that. What do you think? Who's there? It's possible. And you see all my kings, so I may, may want to check him all the time. So check, because my king is really exposed, right? Who's there? Go there. And that's sort of a common thing with this. It's just uh, how do I check him from this point? How do I do that? It was there. Doesn't. What am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was there. It's, just, it's really uh, so. Where I'm stuck right now is at this point. So I'm missing something. Something is wrong with my uh, calculation. And I really don't like this setup there. I was looking maybe in this direction. Is there anything I can do? Now these moves. This threatens mate. But I feel like wow, I'm gonna get mated right there. So what am I missing? What's wrong? Oh, I might have it something. This, that, this the goal is not to mate him, but defend myself. I get this piece and all of a sudden you cannot take my uh, my bishop anymore because it's protected twice. Uh, he can check me if he wants, but then I move over. Yeah, the goal is to defend myself. That's the objective. So this, that, and then I just take... Okay, so I was a bit too obsessed with mating him. As we go forward, it's less and less, uh, of course, uh, less and less maze, I suppose. So, okay, um, of course, if it goes down, it's going to just be made, so it has to go up, but then what, right? So, of course, uh, I could go like that, sacrifice my uh, rook temporarily. Does that give me something? Is this premature? How about this? Interesting also. Ah, oh, the bishop's there, okay. What do we have? I don't see the solution right away. Oh, what if... Okay, yeah, so what if I check him like this? He can't do anything, so he has to go there. Oh my god, and then I take, he goes up, and I made him. Wow, so... Yeah, we sacrifice. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Fancy. I like the fancy ones. I like the fancy ones. So I do have a few things to tell you, right? Again, check timestamps. But I want to focus until we reach a reasonable score. I don't have to beat my record. I'd like to beat my 52. I don't have to. Uh, but uh, yeah, last attempt. I was uh, talking about all sorts of things. I have a list in front of me. And it, I lost my concentration. And I, I did poorly, so let's try to stay focused and continue with the main the main thing, which is just a, just a puzzle rush. Two pieces, two rooks, right? Um, this is... This is a um, potential target. For instance, I'm thinking 
that I could pin him. But of course, I lose. Where can the knight go if I kick it? Cannot go here, cannot go there. Cannot go there, cannot go there, <laughs> cannot go there. So I could kick the knight. That could be a start, goes like this. It's not very convincing so far. Now, this is a. Uh, it checks me again. No, it's not going to work either. Um. I see that this is. What about I neutralize this threat? Then I play this. Threat is to come in and hit this. Is it possible? Maybe. So that's a big maybe. So he has to defend the spawn. Yeah, he sort of escapes. I mean, and I know it's not great, but he can like... No, okay, maybe not. I love the idea of pinning him. The problem is, of course, I'm getting... Hmm. I keep seeing this, but it's not... It doesn't convince me at all. I'm missing a critical component. the solution for this so I'll give it a full 10 minutes uh, I don't have there's no timer they should put a timer here okay so I spent as much time as I could on this I really don't see it so I'm just gonna defend like this and he does this we're gonna have to analyze I'm not a fan of this this puzzle because he could have retreated would make it 10 times tougher but of course if he takes like this all I have to do is uh, yeah, I want a piece I just exchange can I go back Yeah, so look, I couldn't f figure it out. Let's go in and out. Is this? I gave up. I couldn't figure it out. So the move is this. I said, okay, I don't. I gave up. I had no clue. So what do I do against that? I don't. Know. How is it? To, okay, so ninety four. I don't get it. Like normally, it's like uh, okay, I'm plus three. That's fine, but it's just um, 
de la KFC, c'est normal mousse. I don't understand this puzzle at all. So, uh, people will do like me, and at one point they give up, they can't see uh, what happens. But then the guy just gives a piece. Why do you give a piece away, man? No human would do that ever. Only a computer would do that. Only a computer would go here. Human would go there. Would go there. Computer sees that going there it's even worse than losing a piece. Like here he loses a piece. Right? He loses a piece completely. In the computer's mind, it's worse than losing a piece to go there. 94. Because the night I know I understand that black's position is bad, but okay, let's go a little further. What the hell am I missing? Or is it just a bad puzzle, man? Yeah, it's like it's a positional thing, but... I, I wonder how, how high rated the puzzle would be if the answer was this. Okay, let's keep going. At least it explains why I had so much trouble. I don't want to mess this up. Okay. <laughs> Imagine I close my... It's my turn. I panic for a moment. Imagine I close my own uh, puzzle rush I've been <laughs> spending time on. Okay. Let's hope things are a little better now. Then it was hard. Let me, let, me, let me think what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Queen, queen. Okay, so materials even. Rook, rook, peace, 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 peace. I don't really look at pawns for now, but I could look in the sense the three pawns here, so he's up three pawns and be connected. Two connected bass pawns for white, so clearly uh, I may want to see if I can mate him somehow. So I do have that too. So if if he blocks, I just made him. So obviously you won't do that. Moves over. Knight check. If he goes like this, this is covered by his bishop, but I don't care about that. I'm just gonna mate him. So far so good. So <laughs> more normal puzzle. But if he went back, then I check him like this. So it looks like a, a smarter mate. I think it's a smarter mate. So this. There. There, there. Double check. Sack the queen. Yeah, it's a smarter mate. This. Yeah. Now he doesn't want a smarter mate to happen. Well, instead, I'm just going to meet him in the back rank. They should have kept the smarter mate. See, it's sexier. Ah, another uh, end game. So, what I would like to do is get his king away from the pawn so I can queen. Okay, so there's a pretty direct way to do that. Or a force, uh, force action, of course. Uh, but I think he'll be able to defend as possible. Let's verify. So if, if I go like this, he takes, I take. All he has to do, I'll give you uh, <laughs> the first thing uh, regarding pawn endgames. Black's job, if there's only a pawn like this, Black's job is just to go there. If, if, if Black goes there, it's a draw 100% of the time. So this does not work. He takes, I take, and all he has to do is go there and it will be a draw. So this is incorrect. Um, 
So it's something else. I don't know exactly what it is yet. So maybe I can... Um, I could start pushing. It's an option. I did say this takes, right? How about this? Because I'd like to exchange works, it's just that I gotta do it properly. Now I check him like this. He's not gonna let me just win his rook for free. So it's that's interesting. I like that. So he has to move back. Then I can... Uh, yeah. So this didn't work. Yeah, maybe that doesn't matter. Sorry about the arrows. But this seems more interesting. If he blocks... Yeah, if he blocks, I'm not a huge fan. What if I hit his rook? Then go behind my pawn. Oh, that's better. It's possible also. So I was taking this, right? But I just didn't realize this. Although, what I could do then is push my king. Ah, so that, okay, so if he does this, he blocks, I go and then I go there. He can't uh, move his rook. Because he spinned. I attack it twice. If he takes, I, now I win the game because I'll, I'll block his king from. Oh, no, that could be the right move. So I go like this. He goes there. I go there. If he uh, I attack his his rook twice now, no matter no matter where he goes, and if he takes a take, now I'm in front of his king. Is getting is called getting the opposition. His king will never be able to come in. I'll always be able. So if I do that. Let's re recheck if he goes down. Ah, oh, I could even uh, do the same thing. If he goes down like this, I pin him. He's double attack and pin. Can't go anywhere either. If he takes, I get the opposition. I go here, he takes, I get the opposition. And we push all the way up. Wow, that's a nice one. That was a cool puzzle. I'll give you a link in Wikipedia. I'll write it down for Pawn and Games, okay? Because I did cover a few teams, and this is not really uh, the time for me to explain uh, Pawn and Game principles. I'm just doing a puzzle rush. I'll put a link in the description, and Wikipedia has a nice section about Pawn and Games. Check it out. I didn't really count, but it's. Uh, it seems to me that. Uh, Oh, I'm in check. I was about to say, well, and he seems in extreme trouble, but I'm in check. So I have to defend myself. I mop, uh, I mop material, clearly. It's a rook for a queen. But I'm in check, so I have to, to defend myself. So those are, I find those tricky. Uh, so uh, general pr chess principle is, it tends to be tougher to find defensive moves than offensive moves. Uh, you can be very creative with an attack. Sometimes defensive moves are only moves. Well, in this case, of course, it's always only move doing puzzles. So there's only one response to this. And clearly, it's not this because I'm going to get mailed. So it's either that or that. Well, 
Okay, so this one is gonna, is gonna take me a little bit of time, I think. So I go down like this, and uh, it hits me like that. The problem is, or is there a problem? I don't know. He'd be a people that draw to. Like, uh, if he finds a way to repeat somehow, I, although I might be able to escape, it's more like trying to mate me right now. This seems more natural than just this. Because if I go like this, I'm not really escaping anything and there's a second rook coming in. But if he checks me like this, I go there. It's even worse because uh, I'm getting mated straight up. <laughs> So I just found the, the right answer for this move is this. It goes down. Okay, okay, let me just recap this. I think I got it right, right? So I go down, he checks me. I go up. And then if he checks me, I have an escape. But if I go there, he checks me. No, it's my turn again. Okay, I got confused for a second. No, never mind. So yeah, it's more natural if I go down like this. Check me and I go up like that. And if he checks me again, maybe I can go hide somewhere. More natural than, than this, but it, what's the difference? So what's the difference between this and that? And that's the key of the puzzle, figuring out the difference between the, the difference between these two moves. And I, I saw a ghost, uh, thought I was in trouble if I went. It's not his turn twice in a row. <laughs> Somehow miscalculated. Uh, here. And then I go there. Oh, this is hanging. Aha! So I did see a sequence. That says, if I go too far. So let's say I go too far. Okay, so let's get, I go too far. Checks me, I go here. Checks me. Where, where you want me to go? I can't protect my uh, rook at all. Well, if I go there, he's going to win my rook. What if I went there? Then he checks me. Come on, I'm trying to disprove one of the two moves. I'm trying to disprove this. You go like that. My queen does, does protect this. Then he has to check me again then. That's the problem that I got. Hmm. Huh. Well, well, well. It's going there that's killing me because this is hanging. Ah, oh, he has a bishop. Yeah, I forgot the bishop. It's even worse. So this, that, this, that. And if I try to, to do that, you're going to check me like this. can't explain why it feels wrong to go on that side, but if I go there, we have the same sequence. It looks so much safer. So this is one of those where I'm going to have to sort of trust myself in the sense that if I go like this, it feels... I'm really not a fan of... Uh, Going on those black squares. It checks me. I can't go anywhere. Does he have a triple repetition? Well, I could go down there. I'll be frank, I don't really... Uh, I don't really see the sequence. 
It's just that going here feels safer. Feels, feelings, right? <laughs> so that's a bit of a problem for me. Because I can't see it. I can't see the difference between the two. In a concrete way, move by move. So it's either this or that. Flip a coin, basically. So if I was playing a real game, I was not able to see, really see the, 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 the sequence, like it's the case right now, I would go with what feels safer. And this feels safer. So, I, I can't see, I'm sorry, I can't see it. So what you do in a situation like me, you it, this feels safer, but I can't put my finger on it. Well, I have to live with it and just go for it. So I'll do it. If, if it's wrong, we'll look at it. In fact, if it's right, we'll look at it either way. I'm curious. So I'm going to make the move. Okay, and then, now, do I do I go there or do I go there, right? Now, see, this doesn't seem... I don't feel safe I do, if I do this. Again, uh, it doesn't feel safe. But if I go there, it feels... I feel okay. So I'm going to go <laughs> with my feelings. And he takes. And I take back. I'm so good. All me, It's all about feelings, right? Let's be a little more practical. Okay, I got it. Cool. But what happens on the other direction? So let's verify this. Okay. What happens if I go here? I didn't like it, but I, I, I didn't know why. So let's find out. Okay, it's a draw. Check. I go there. Check. And then I said, well, maybe... Well, here, here, here is certainly just like check. So that's easy. It's this move that I found tricky. Because if he checks me, what I don't understand is I can... Can I not run away like this? Rook uh, one e two check. <laughs> okay, yeah, a triple repetition. That rule that was nonsense. So it's a. Okay, so it's a, a triple repetition. Now this way, there's a triple repetition. And that way, he checks me. Now that I've, every move says zero. If I go there, one, one E2 check. Then I go down, King E1 check. Go up, three U check. It goes nowhere. Nice puzzle. Only say that because I got it right. Let me close not the, the wrong window. All right, let's keep going. Getting tougher. I can feel it. Okay. So, one, two, three. So, I'm down. Uh, wow, I'm down a lot of... What is it? He has two rooks for uh, and have a piece. I'm done a lot of material. I'm gonna have to find a way to meet meet this fella. So I do see a check. He cannot take with his knight. It's because he's pinned. So I like this move. And he cannot block because the bishop is so that's that's cool. I like that. It's a good start. But I gotta continue. So where does he go? There's only two. So let's see, he goes there. I 
I'm thinking maybe this. It's completely stuck there. And how about a, a nice check here? That looks well. Uh, yeah, because I hit the, the square twice, and whatever comes to block. Okay, so let's uh, recap for a second. So far, is is check like this? If it goes there, I like this move. Goes there, I check him like this, and there's no uh, there's no defense to my knowledge. How about this? And he goes there. In this case, uh, maybe. Okay, I don't know yet. I was about thinking. I was thinking this for a second, but this is hanging. Uh, it's not just hanging. It's covering this. It is hanging. It might be part of the solution. However, see how I cover the square. So I like this idea, maybe. And he doesn't have many squares uh, left. Moves over. And now we go in the back. I got him. So this, that, this, and there's no way to prevent anything or this. That. Let's remember what well, he's, he's uh, was thinking. Oh, maybe he can block in this diagonal. Do I not have. Okay, he could block this diagonal there. Of course, I have to refute myself, which is part of the process, I suppose. Yeah, okay, this one with this, if he goes there, I'm a little confused. Of course, yes, I can do that, I understand, but he can uh, go there. I'm not sure how it goes after. I have to decide also to see how which, which side is it going. It's just uh, here. Yeah, here's a problem. So we saw the other direction. We don't have to go over it again. I know it works. I'm confident. Just this side. Oh, I did. Say, I said this right. It goes there. What if I check him in diagonal like this? It's possible. This is hanging too. I don't fully see it, so let's uh, proceed. It was wrong. Just absolutely no idea uh, what the solution is. Let's find out. Yeah, I just missed a, ma a made in one, man. Should I spend more time on it? Now, let's see if it's going to affect me. You see, uh, if I recover from this, it was a pretty bad. I, I'm able to see those things normally, but I, I messed up. So let's see if I can recover from this. So being resilient is part. Um, it's going to be a very, very long road, as I said. Will I reach my goal of becoming a feeding master? That is 
a very ambitious goal. I need to train a lot, never give up, even when I do bad like I just did here. So check here. It has to do with this probably. Sack the queen. That looks like a mate to me. Who's there? Damn. Ba bang. I go there. Yeah, it looks good. Takes and uh, sack the queen and I made him. Okay, he refuses that I do that. But he can't. He can't stop it. Just uh, another way to do the same thing. Ah, uh, okay. I'm down like two pieces or something. So... I might be looking for a mate, if I can. So, we can maybe start with a little check. He cannot go. This is all blocked. He can go down there. Alright. Then it gives me this square. Is that, I can't see anything else. Hold on. There. You go there. It's over. All right. Let's keep it up. All right. So maybe a pawn push one day to open this up. I don't know. Uh, even material. So I'm looking at the sacrifices or crazy moves. So there is this. I don't know if it's any good, but it's really forcing. Now, of course, I got to be careful not to get my, uh, made in myself. You can block like that, though. I suppose I like this. He has to move somewhere. I'm not sure where. This seems like a good defense attempt. The thing though is, I'm okay if I just win material. I'm okay with the idea. Aha. And that could be it. As simple as that. Just win material. I do this. I attack this twice. Can't. Okay. If queen takes, I'm getting made if I take this way. I, I think that's probably what the puzzle is. Interesting. I go there, he takes. What do I do against that? I want the back rank to be protected. So I don't take with my rook, I take with my, my queen. But I'm supposed to win material, though. I want to win material. I'm being silly here, because if I do this, and he does that, I win his queen. So he's not going to do that. Okay. So I saw a ghost. It's okay. I think I have the right idea. I attack this twice. He wants to defend himself somehow. Uh, I, sh I just don't take with the rook, though. So then I take here. Now... He cannot mate me or anything like this. Because the bishop the bishop's still alive. Yes, he can go down, but the bishop can block uh, the second check. So if I play this and he goes there, go queen takes, and if he takes the piece back, then I win a, a rook. I'm up a rook. I just I just gotta keep my rook in the back rank. 
And it's not the right move either. Now, if this, if I'm still here, uh, it's because I, I, I'll succeed on every single move that you can imagine. So very uh, disappointed with this. The bishop b5 was the uh, solution. What do I threaten when I do this? That's hanging. He's, he's got to protect this. Then I attack both at once. Okay, so the idea is to make this hanging not easy to see this one at least for me well last chance now 52 is my record gonna have to do really well So I'm thinking um, materials even obviously. I wanna pin this this knight while attacking it. He can defend it. Can I attack it a second time? Solution. What if you went uh, with a strange move like this? I can attack it a second time like that. He spins still, then he defends. There's two ways to defend that. Not this, though. No. Who's there? I do prevent we we'll just exchange if we do that. So maybe if he does uh, the move that I call strange, I can go like that. We exchange. And then wherever his knight goes to defend, my bishop my black square bishop covers it. So I think against this I played that. And if he goes like that, I still play that. Here. There. There. Ah, oh, thank God. <laughs> I was able to do puzzles somehow. You know, yeah, the, these puzzle workshops psychologically, uh, they hurt when you fail. Okay. Uh, so I can double check him, I suppose. So he has to move his king somewhere. Clearly. What? Uh, but he can't go here anyways. So it's forced. You gotta go there. I can force things a little bit. 
Well, no, like, there's no longer double check though. But this one, okay, this is spin though. Let's remember that. So this. Now, how about that now? Is it playable? Rook takes. Do I have a... I'm close to a solution already. I think. A smothered mate? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A smothered mate, I think, maybe. This goes there. Sack the queen. That's fancy. And a smothered mate. Wow. It's fancy. So I go. Wow, I sack my queen like this. Smothered mate. Well, I did ask for a smothered, smothered mate earlier. I got it. He's about to queen all sorts of trouble for me. Like this. More puppies, but you gotta find a way to. Uh, it seems like the only uh, resolve is to mate him somehow. So, how do I do that? So, maybe a, a check like this could be a good start. Forced. This is forced. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, I can. Oh, cool. Okay. I can go there if I want to. It's just that. Uh... Oh, he sacks the queen, but. Never mind. But, but nothing. <laughs> yeah, you can sack the queen. I was looking at that, but I just did. nothing forces him to, to do such a thing. So I do have this diagonal I can use also if I want to. Where's the solution? Oh, okay, so I do have a knight move there. I talked about a certain diagonal, did I not? Remember the diagonal I just talked about? I think I'm extraordinarily close to a solution. Let me just calculate this again. So this, that, I check him like that. And if he goes... There or there, I check him. It's just after that, if I find it very difficult to see the sequence. But... There's one thing, is I do win a... Like, I sort of defend myself. Do I not defend myself? Is that enough? This, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, like this is hanging completely. There's a knight in front of his pawn. Is that enough to defend myself? I check him on the top of that. Maybe he sort of runs away. That would be the idea, the general idea, I think. I'm not sure when the puzzle ends, but uh, I think that the right idea is to play things like this with the diagonal in mind. I'm going to have to rely on my instincts a little bit. <laughs> it hasn't proven to do so, so great, but I cannot uh, spend it an eternity here either. But I feel like this is probably uh, correct. Honestly, in a real game, uh, I would burn a lot of time. But I would have a tendency to want to play this. So much trouble for white anyways. So let's try it out. 
and hope for the best. Um, this, and then I did say that, and then I said, um, okay, now he blocks. So what do I do here? I could, yeah, I, mm, uh, well, my knight, you know, my knight, uh, if you push the spawn, my knight still covers the square, so you can never queen. So if I go queen takes and win the rook, I win the game, I think. So yeah, I stone check. Then I take the rook and I win. Now, if, if he takes this... Of course, it may make me, make me doubt. A bit, bit of a messy one. Um, wow. What happens if I take and he takes? I don't know. I wouldn't mind saving my bishop, my bishop, my uh, my knight before exchanging. Oh my god, I have one of my own. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I'll just queen at half time. I'll queen. Oh my god, I didn't see that. I shouldn't have seen it. Okay, so I'm down a piece here. And through ideas. So I could uh, hit this, for instance. Uh, I don't know how much of a threat this is. Now, my king's exposed. I suppose he could uh, start annoying me with this. Is there. Uh, I'm looking, I don't think I even have an image that you, well, I do have a check, but that's a silly one, of course. I mean, it's possible, it's just if he goes there, do I care that much? I don't know. Prob well, maybe I care a little bit. Okay, how do I proceed with this one? It's getting trickier. Now this is a, this could be a cool idea with the idea of discovered and I hit this queen. Look at these pawns there. I mean, we try to make a queen. Is that the theme? Is that the idea they have in mind? So I threaten a, a nasty discovered check, something like this. I defend against his his checks. If we take a take, will I be able to queen? Uh, it seems like. It might not be. Oh, I, mean, I have another move. How about this? So this way, there's no no checks, and I open my myself to because I really like these pawns, but I have to push them in a proper way. Okay, so if I do that, attacking the queen, the queen can sort of come in, whatever. But then it's my turn, of course, and I have a chance to. I, I'm not sure what I would do exactly. Depends where he goes to. This looks very promising. Then it depends what he, he does. 
Like if the queen goes uh, uh, away, can I like check him like this? It's possible. Goes back and I made it with my queen. That's, that would be mate. So there's certainly possibilities. It depends where he goes. He could he could go like all the way up also. So it's one of those that um, this is a situation where I'm comple completely convinced this is the right move. But I have to see where he goes before I continue uh, the puzzle. I don't know where he's gonna go. And there's a million possibilities, but this opens up so many uh, play for me. It feels uh, very natural and smooth. But I just gotta know where he goes and then after that I can continue the puzzle. In real life, I would play this too. So it's really, uh, you know, I, got, I just gotta jump, you know. Okay, so that's what he decides to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to play this. Um, there was so many. So that's um, so for a more advanced puzzle like this, it's good to do what I just did. You see what he does, and then you continue calculating. If you're completely convinced, and you can back up. To me, it made a lot of sense because I defended against everything his queen could do and gives me checks. You know, so it feels right. It's just uh, I gotta trust myself. By the way. If I check him uh, like this, he goes there, bang. So, what is he gonna do? Can't move. Does that. If he does that. Let's see what I can do. Could win a rook, but maybe like ch uh, check goes there, and I take. I win a rook. So I'm up the exchange. I got these beautiful pawns there. So I like this idea. Threaten if it goes there. I win uh, his queen, and if he blocks, I go for the rook. Win a rook. I'm fine. I cover annoying checks. I even protect the spawn. And I have time to play the game, so I'm gonna go and proceed and just go there. Nice. So we're in the 2400s now. Check. First thing I look at, of course, you can go there. He can, uh, of course, block. And then... Um, well, well, well. It's one of those... You look for the easy checks, so doesn't mean it's right, huh? Everything is blocked there. Hmm. Interesting puzzle. I don't have much to work with. Uh, queens and knights really work well together. So it seems that's all I need, but when I have to check him and he blocks, that's all I keep seeing, annoyingly. Uh, I, don't, I don't see uh, anything yet. Now I could exchange like this, so there, there would be a fork maybe, but uh, unfortunately, his knight covers the square. Okay, so like this, that'd be sort of cool. I can't do it. What if I went like this? It goes there. And I do the fork anyways, which sounds probably completely insane. Yeah, does it? I just lose my queen. It has to do with this. My bishop is not even open to this. I'd love to get rid of this knight. So there's a little trick that I'm missing. Missing a trick. 
an annoyance something I'm missing something of course I'm not solving yet so of course I'm missing something but what is it oh the other side the other side this could be the key and that's a big maybe but if I take there I can take there like how's the material one two three one two three so material is even right so I'm starting to see maybe a few things but one thing so goes there goes there Can I play this directly? I hit the queen. If he takes my queen, it doesn't work, doesn't it? That's the problem. I check him like this. And he's got to stay close to this pawn. So he cannot come back. Or he, can't, he cannot come back anywhere because I'm going to trap his rook. So he's got to... Stay there. Man, everything's protected. That's protected. Man. Can I threat? Uh, can I get out of here and threaten something? Like, uh, give you an example. I get out. I go there. I never if you considered that. And if he takes, I take. And it looks very promising that I might win this. Therefore, win in exchange. That looks extremely good for me. I feel. Again, about feelings. Great. What if he blocks there? Is this possible? Then I hit this in the back. Then, of course, all you can do is this. Am I that far from the solution? I'm getting tired, by the way. <laughs> These are... Uh, oh, my God. It, it is the solution, so... I was completely blind. So, But he can defend himself, it's not over. It might not be over, but now I can hit his queen in this, and there's all sorts of play. I guarantee you that 100%. We got the right idea. And it, it they, they let me, literally. Wow, I had so much trouble with this one, but I got it, though. I'm so happy that I got it. Check. Uh, well, he can go away like this. However, I can check him. He goes back. Check again. He goes there. So it's along those lines. Along along those lines. Doesn't have to take. can sacrifice a second time. At one point he's gonna have to do something. So double sac rooks. Double rook sacrifice. Let's go. Yeah, if, if he moves over, I'm just gonna take again. Then if he moves over there, I'm gonna mate him.
somehow. I'm not seeing all the lines yet. We're very close. We're very close, uh, and he can't escape at all. If I go there again, he goes there. And let's remember. Oh, yeah, that's made. Because the whole thing is... It's like a wall, right? So check. He goes there. Check. He's completely forced to... Go there, and that's made. And if he refuses to take, he doesn't want to collaborate, then I, I do a double sack. I take again. I just gotta figure out maybe after that. I don't see how he gets out of this, obviously, but I would have to calculate a little bit though. So it's this, that's 100%. Like, if anything, to win the pawns or something, you know. So I would certainly go for it. Uh, it's just, maybe if he doesn't take, I just gotta get the sequence right. Of course, I have a tendency to want to double sack. He takes. It's just, uh, I want to bring my queen in properly. I'm not sure how to proceed for this. So let's start with the first move, which is a very violent. <laughs> you know, it's a very violent. I was thinking also, you know, if he, if he doesn't take, but the problem is though he he, I'm gonna have to check him every single move because I'm I'm gonna get in big trouble myself. Because I was thinking, okay, if he doesn't take, then I can do this, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna have time. I knew it. So I have to sacrifice again. I have to check him again. This is what's tricky, I think. Um, okay, let's try to. I'm gonna try a bit. I know I'm trying to make a video here, but I do, at the same time, I gotta train. So I gotta try to see. I couldn't see exactly how to continue from there. How about that? Does it does it work? So he he. Or well, he sorts of escapes, but then you see how he can dance around the bounce, a bit annoying. But okay, he cannot. This is blocked. Why do I have so much trouble seeing this? Goes there. I could check him there, it goes there. All of a sudden, it seems to... Oh my god. And even... Uh, well, if I check him like this... I think this is just absolutely... Uh, mandatory? I'm getting tired here. I, I yeah, I don't really. Uh... Then I gotta check him again. So, uh... I don't like. It. What I hate is that I can't check him like this if I want to. And there's this, and then there's that. Then he can escape, maybe. Even from here, whether it's my in my head or here, I don't know how to check him. I have to check him all the time. Go there. At least I know that if he goes there, I'll meet him. Oh, this. Okay, so I know that. So this. He can't afford going there because I'm going to cover this. My problem right now is this. What to do if he does this? And this is where I'm not. Oh, what if I checked him again?
I'm close. No, I got it. Oh, yeah, it's back and forth. So I'm going to go like this. If he goes there, I'm going to mate him. I got it. But if he goes there, I check him again. That's fancy. This is covered. Wow. Okay, so you go there. Then I check him again. Fancy move. Now he sacrifices his queen, which is fine. Wow. Okay, 46. I mean, no matter what happens, I'm... I did okay. This is training. I don't have to beat my record 52. Um, so my objective for the tournament next week, next week, next month, maintain my rating. It's going to be rated Quebec, Canada. One day I'll explain why we have two federations. Doesn't matter. It will be double rated. Just want to maintain my rating. This will put me in a, pos put me in a position that I can compare all over the board chess.com rating with my current rating. So I don't have a clue what I'm worth. I just want to check. Am I, uh, am I, because I'm in the 1800s there, both federations. So am I still at 1800 level ish? Now, maybe I was a bit underrated. Maybe I should be worth, I should be rated a certain level, like maybe higher than 1800. 10 years ago, I was on fire playing in FIDE instead of those federations. So it's really hard to say that. I, I don't know. So if I do well, maybe my reading will go a bit up. It doesn't have to. I just, what I don't want is a catastrophe, so I will try to avoid that. So I'll, I'll train it up this month. Um, the other thing uh, that I wanted to tell you is that the stream that's running today is just to set it up because I'm streaming on the other channel. This channel, I don't know if I'll stream all that much. I might do a puzzle rush on the other stream. Uh, check in the live section of my channel if, you, if you're curious to see. I always keep the live chat there and I invited a bunch of people. It should be, should be interesting. Um, there's a, also, I, I'm really happy about the second video. We got 400 and something views already. The channel just got created. So if you can uh, find some time to check out video number one, number one, paranoia, paranoia of cheating, paranoia of cheating. Sorry about stuttering. It'd be really cool if you like uh, hit like, write a little comment or something to give it some life. That'd be real fun. Then uh, once we're done with the puzzle rush, I'll tell you what I do to prepare. Then I will have said everything I need to, to say. There was a video I wanted to make regarding what should be your objective um, or how you should perform against certain people. But I need a camera for it. Yeah, I feel like it would be a very boring video without it. All right, let's finish this puzzle rush. I'm hoping to continue uh, further. Um, it's getting tough, but I'm somewhat able to, to do this so far. Just unhappy with these two. Okay, in this situation, I'm down a piece, am I not? Okay. So just winning a piece, let's say I somehow can play twice. Well, it's not enough. Looking at anything, even the crazy stuff, that's of course, that won't work, of course. So there's, a, there's going to be some, now right now I see nothing obvious. Um, now these two connected pawns are really nice. So it might be part of the solution. But I'm down, I'm down a, a piece. I do have compensation, I understand that. So I'll keep that in mind. But I need to find uh, something. I can't find anything. First of all, there's no checks. Well, there, there could be this move. So this is a possibility. That doesn't seem too crazy. Does he threaten anything right now? No. Everything seems safe, stable to me. So if I play this, I'm not sure what I threaten exactly, but of course I have a discovered check at least. Um, I don't, I'm not sure you should allow that. I, I just don't know what, would, what I would do about it. Maybe attack the pin bishop on check. If I was able to play twice in a row, I mean. So that's sort of cool if I win a, a piece like this. I'm already up. By the way, I'm up two pounds. Huh? All I have to do is win a piece. So this looks 
pretty interesting. Now, if he does this or that, I win the piece. I just want to win a piece or something like that. So if I go like that, I think he has to move his king to avoid discover checks. But he's st he's um he's stuck defending this, so he doesn't have any choices. He cannot go there either because if I have a discover check with a double attack on this bishop. I'm going to win the bishop. Only move is this, so I really like this. When you start seeing situation where your opponent has what they call only moves, there's only one possible move, it's a good sign. But from this point, not to, I don't have a clue uh, how to continue this, so I have to think. How do I continue from there? I can attack the pin piece. That's allowed. Now, could I do it right away? Let's backtrack for a moment. Uh, could I right now do this instead? Instead of the fancy stuff, it gives him... Although he does have to move, in my opinion. What if I double attack this right away? He can defend. But be careful, because, of course... Uh, if I check him like this, it's no longer double protected. Interesting. If it goes this way... So both scenarios... After I check him... The king is forced to... Uh, leave the defense of this bishop. So maybe this is not correct. Because it's... There's a possibility that he might find a way to... Like maybe he has time to maybe... I don't know exactly, but uh, I don't know what he could do to. Uh, so I like this. I like I like both of them. I like both of them. The bishop can't move. Can't be protected. In any way, shape, or form. No matter how he defends. Now he can. No, no matter how he defends. As I said, I can hit hit him, and he gets away from the protection. It's attacked twice, protected once. So I don't know the difference between the two moves. One of the one of the two moves is correct. This or that. I don't know the difference. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, so... I don't know. I don't have the answer. But I want to find out. So I suddenly wonder if it's... Um, something else entirely second guessing myself right now he were there or there then I take this What's the difference, man? What's the difference? I don't see the difference. He's got to defend this. The only way to do it 
it's maybe maybe I go further with with a check like this after that he has to leave the protection is there something I can do that's better than just winning uh, that bishop compared to the other sequence Either or with the rooks. No, no, no. You know how uh, if I do this, he gets to defend this, but he doesn't really defend it, I still win the piece. Does this completely force going there or can he... Yeah, he can go anywhere, right? So the, the most forcing move... But he could even give it away completely. He can do anything. I feel like I'm missing the mark completely. Looks like I had a wrong theme. You could just leave. Let me. You know what I mean? You could just let me. Allow me. No matter what I do. Here, he does have to move away. But he just allows me. In every in every scenario. I don't see this one at all. I see things, but I, I don't understand what uh there's so many wins a way to win that that uh that piece. Then I just to just have two connected pass pawns and I'm gonna win the game. Multiple wins. I see multiple ways to win. So this is not as straightforward. This is more straightforward. So I would probably go with this. And I, I just win a piece and that's it. So I might just play this and it's just I don't know what I'm missing. We'll, we'll go analyze the game uh, after. See, that, that, that's, that's what I don't understand. If I go there, then I just... I just win uh, a piece. Now, there, there's this pawn that I'd like to... Okay, maybe the subject of it... Okay, I may have an idea. It's this pawn. Like, once I check him like this... If I go rook takes... Rook takes... Bishop takes... He can uh, hit my bishop... And he might be able to win this pawn. So maybe I need to find a way to prevent this somehow. So that's the, the part that I completely uh, missed. So how about instead I take with my bishop. 
But now my bishop is stuck here. But not forever. Do I mind that? I don't know. And I can't push this. See, it's problematic because if I go like this, it goes there. And I take. As soon as I run away, I lose this. I do have a rook here, though. Can I... So after that, 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 I hit this, I don't think that works. And if I take with my rook. And he threatens me like this. Oh, he can't take the pawn. I move back. If he takes the pawn, mate. So the solution is rook take, not bishop take. So, okay, I got it. So I got it. I go with it goes like this. And I take with the... With the rook. With the rook. And if he takes a take and he wants to be fancy, I'm going to mate him. He can't take... But if I go with the bishop first, what's the difference? If I take with the bishop... It's... Um, the back rank is too protected. So I have to get rid of one of the... of the rooks. Okay, he goes there instead. close to my limit of what I can do. I know I'm rated low, uh, close to nine, uh, 2900, but uh, of course it's like uh, I get two right, two wrong, two right, two wrong, three right, four right, one wrong, you know what I mean? To be uh, right 100% of the time, like uh, on Puzzle Rush, like, <laughs> in the 2500s, is getting really difficult for me. So uh, I'm trying to understand. Well, there's no way... Um, I mean, I, I can't take with my, my rook, that's nonsense. The bishop takes now. And I leave it like that, and I protect my pawn maybe with a rook or something. I don't have a choice. I cannot go like this because I just lose that and get absolutely nothing out of it. Okay, so. So yeah, 2600. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh uh, god man. Okay, so I look at that. I have a lot of, a lot of big bad. But a battery is I forgot the name of with the queen in the front, but the battery is rook, queen, rook. So I have a some sort of a battery, I suppose. Well there's look at maybe I had a sacrifice like this. Reason why I would just do such a sacrifice, that's a big maybe. Is uh well, it doesn't make much sense for now, right? Okay, maybe not. If I go there, of course, he has an easy escape for now. Then I take, so I don't even have sacrifice. So I could at least play this. This way I don't have to sacrifice my queen. That's a start. He's up a piece, by the way. There is a... Um, there's this. It's possible, so let's verify. Check. Oh my god. I think I got him already. So, check. What does he do, right? He's forced to take, right? I check him. Now, no matter where he goes, so he goes there. 
and it's made because this is covered. I can't go anywhere. It's completely over. Again, because uh, well, I'm going to sacrifice my queen, I just want to make sure. He can't go anywhere. There's no solution for him. At all. I just always check. It's completely busted. Let's go. So, you might wonder why did I struggle so much on this one and not on this one. I didn't check this one. You'll see the number of it. I think you can look them up, but um, if you rewind, if you want to check it, I'm not going to do that. But sometimes they, maybe in the position, there was something else. I just saw the right line right away. Maybe there was another possible line that you, they make you waste time on, right? It's probably something like that. That's very common. So I see this, which is a threat of immediate mate. And I don't see how he can defend himself against this for now. If he, if he moves his king, he's going to be mate anyways. I'm going to hit this right now. So how does he defend himself? He can. There's a move he can play, which is this move. But if he does this, he's still mate. I'll go in the back. So if we go there, he goes there. Still made him. Or win his queen. So I guess they want us to just see that this is made, maybe? Is it that simple? It's possible. However, there's this, but am I scared? There's not really. If I go there, the same scenario. This is really nice. It's very uh, solid. I don't. I don't see any way for him to defend himself. Both squares lead to mate, and if he moves, he's mate. So, honestly, I'm, I don't think I need to. It's not because I'm exhausted or anything. I, honestly, it's just I don't absolutely don't see any way for him to defend himself, and I gotta trust my guts. Well, he sacrifices the queen. He's gonna, he's gonna get mated anyways. Okay, cool. Let's keep going and why not uh, I'm gonna talk about my prep so what do I do to prepare um, yeah so what I do to prepare is really simple uh, I said uh, I would play tons of rapid games throughout the month I will and um, I'll pay close attention to the opening especially the carol can there's already a line I need, I need to add, something annoying somebody did to me. I might cover it or not in a future game. Depends if the game is interesting enough. Anyways, if I see anything crazy on my repertoire, I'm going to add a few lines. And two weeks before the tournament, I'm going to start memorizing the whole thing. I already started, but I'll officially memorize it. It's a bit hard to memorize right now because it keeps changing. But it will be, yeah, tons of games. So I can almost dream of chess at night. And... Um, Analyze the games and, of course, try to. Uh, I don't care about my rating. I can maintain that. I mean, uh, it's 1700s and rapid and 1800s and in daily, it's fine. I'm gonna try to run five, six, seven, eight dailies at a time. Of course, I'll do puzzles a little bit too. And that's all I'll do. Then we'll figure it out. And we check the timestamps for the other subjects I wanted to cover. But everything is covered. I told you my objective. Again, my goal is to maintain my, my rating. If I do that first tournament, I'm happy. Then then we can talk about progress. Okay, let's look at this position now. Uh, so, uh, one, two, three. So, even material. At least for pieces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds. So, he's up. He's up three pounds. Is up three pounds. So I'm looking for anything that's uh, forcing, annoying. So I like um, that maybe there's a move I might be interested in. So my bishops are hitting this real hard. There might be a possibility like this. Because if knight takes, I have this. But that's not what he's going to do. He's going to do this. But I'm looking at forcing moves. And 
out of a sudden, there is a move. In fact, maybe right away. Maybe right away. How about this? Because the pawn is spin. You can't take. Now I threaten this real hard. So that's a good move. That's a good first move right now. Now, he doesn't really threaten to mate me or anything like this. So I hit real hard with this. Now, it's possible that he plays this. And it seems like pins are a big thing here. Can I? Because now he's pinned. Uh, uh, yeah, so I mean this, yeah, check like that, maybe. Um, okay, it's, it's a bit complicated, okay, give me a second. So if I go like this, you can't take, and I threaten to... Well, I hit him hard, but that's not mate or anything like this. But also threaten another check, like this, with the rook here. And I hit this extremely hard. So there's many, many. Uh, so I think taking this makes more sense just because I have a discovery attack. I think this is a bit ridiculous. So if I go like this, I threaten to hit this. And once he's moving, I'll have a discovered attack. So this would be the first move, probably. And then. Uh, even if he gets rid of this, of course, I, I have discovered attack, discovered check. Yeah, he's gonna I think he's completely busted with just with that. I will have to see what he does. So he can't take this, he can't take that. Uh, and we'll have to see what he does against that. But it seems to me like this would be a next and first move, very forcing. Now there's bishop here also, so there's all sorts of things you can do. But in every scenario though, I hit uh, very hard and this pawn is completely pinned. So I'm gonna go for it. So he chooses to check me like this. So I'm, I'm not so sure that uh, this is uh, very good because if I go like this, my king's exposed and now he can check me and I go back and he wins this. So I think this is automatic. I don't, I don't think I need to calculate very much to be honest. But now if I go like this, does he want to exchange queens? Do I accept that? Or maybe I do. And my discovered check is me taking this pawn maybe. Then he has to move back. So I would have to figure out what's going to happen. But I know, I know one thing. Oh, oh I could do that though. But same thing. So it's the same result. Ah, but there's a difference. <laughs> okay. See, there's a nuance. Okay, we know I can't take like this. If I go there, yeah, we exchange queens. But how about this? Oh, he can take me on check. It collapses. Now there's no longer a pin. So I have to go there. I'm forced to go there. And you'll exchange queens and I'll have to figure it out. I have to go there 100%. Because this is holding beautifully. It can only take one of... Yeah, okay. Okay, and then I just... I uh, think I just uh, check him like this. And when he's queen or something like that. Yeah, because we're even material. Be a rook for a queen. Pretty sure that's the correct uh, answer here. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I'm not the best at making thumbnails. I think you know that, but at least I'll show a 50 like this. <laughs> at a minimum, maybe more. We're close to the record. I solved a few 3000 plus puzzles but not many, and I wasn't presented many of them. We're getting closer to, the, to them, so I just succeeded at this 2701. 
Okay. Um, anything, anything. So the first move would be uh, I'm making something. So maybe, maybe check like this. I sort of like this because if I check him like this, uh, he can't move his king at all. His king is completely frozen. So what the, what does he do? My back rank is extraordinarily weak, by the way. Now, if he blocks with his queen, well, I just win his queen. But I'm down. Uh, yeah, that that careful because if I go, if I go like this and he blocks, and we exchange like this, it's two rooks and a piece for my queen. No, so it's it's not. The solution, but doesn't mean it's wrong. This move, it's just that if he goes there, simply taken won't do uh, the job. Uh, so maybe, like if I could win his queen and keep my rook, it would be better. Rook and bishop against queen, much better. So is there a way I can do that? I don't know yet. So if I check him after uh, here after that. Moves over. Check with my rook. Goes in the corner. I don't know. Now it. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna remove this. I'm losing my mind. You hear me? The sounds that I made. No, it's because I just saw this, right? And uh, sometimes we see ghost. How he blocks, like? Right? But if I go here, he can't block. Makes sense. How about this, yeah? Not looking so good for him. Because that's me. Yeah. Is that it? Like this? So they want you to focus on the insanity of all this, but in reality, the solution is there's absolutely nothing else. There's nothing you can do, man. And again, I can be intimidated by the numbers that I see there, 27, there could be a 2700 or near 2800 puzzle here. I, saw, I sold a bunch of those in the past. Sometimes I fail, but honestly, you gotta trust yourself. I trust myself. You know, I have to. I'm all I've got. I'm alone. Look, this seems too good to be true. Well, I don't care. It's true. So I'll just play. If I'm wrong, I'll be very upset. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, it's not rocket science at all. At this one. Look at that. Near 2800. Okay, very nice. All right. So I'm uh, I'm down in exchange. I can see that I could check him this way. He takes that, you know, and my I have a pawn here, so that could be a a key thing in an insane sequence. They all they're not all you saw that right that. Uh, some of the puzzles are not always those absolutely ridiculously insane uh, sequences, but uh, sometimes it is. Now, a slow, a slow thing like this, could it work? I don't know. Uh, there's this. I'm not sure what it accomplishes. You see this there? You see this pawn? I have an idea. What if I push? This is a very strong idea. Now, can he can he annoy me or check me or do anything right now? I don't see a check. Well, if I push this, no matter how he takes, oh, I can, oh shit, you can't take like this though. Okay, let's look at the other way. <laughs> if I push 
and he takes, I don't know, with um, the bishop. Then I have that. And he can't he can't go there because I'm going to uh made him in other way in other words I win uh, the queen Give me a sec. Yeah he has sacrificed the queen on my piece. Yeah, so a push right and I don't know queen takes even then I go check and he's busted. He has to uh he has to take. It's interesting also is if queen takes, I can go bishop here, check. But he's checking you. Oh yeah, he doesn't even have to. I was about to see he can take my queen if he wants to. I win his queen this way. However, it's not the only way he can take, so these two ways. The third way is this. So how do I... Okay, the, the third way is annoying. I think I have the right move. But if he if he takes like this... Uh, I need to find out what to do. I don't know. Because if bishop takes now... The rook... The rook covers... Right? The rook, the rook covers... Uh, yeah. So that's the solution. That's his defense. Is this. But nothing forces me to take. I'm just saying that uh, it's his defense. Now you might say, Hey, why don't you take this? Why well, is two piece for a rook? I don't know, I don't feel like it's enough, and I feel like um, it would be, like if I'm desperate, I'm going to say take this, if I run out of ideas, but I'm pretty convinced there's a way to, to do this, that makes sense. He's almost lucky that he can do this. Now, can I, after this, threaten mate? His problem is, the only way he can defend that I can see is this, and now I can take all I want. So that's a possibility. I push, he takes, threaten mate. And in every scenario, he loses his queen. With the queen there, he loses it. How does he defend himself against that? I don't see a defense. He's done. Go for it. All right, ready for humiliation? <laughs> I'm convinced this is correct. That's a mate. Yes. Then I win the queen. Oh yes. Let's go. Nice. Chess is fun. Uh, of course, uh, that wins. So you take like this. Is this too slow? Maybe he seems to have a defense there. It's already along those lines though. He can't move over. So what if um, 
a sack de queen. <laughs> Might as well have fun. Uh, open up, check like that. And look, I open up the diagonal here. It goes there and I made him. What do you think of that? I think I found the solution already. <laughs> you see it? I wish I was streaming right, right now. If I was streaming, I'd be able... Look. Check, right? Where, where, where does he go? He moves over? No. He gets maiden. So he can't. So he has to take, right? Well, I'm going to sack my queen. He's going to take. Now these two are gone, so I'm, the whole file is open. Check. Where does he go? What, what does he do? He goes over. Then I made him, and so I took, this is completely over. I'll check one last time. It's very important that you really make sure, especially like in a critical position. Uh, no, 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 uh, like this. In a critical position, you really must, especially if it's a winning move, you burn all your time, make sure, not all, but make sure that you really, really, really see. There's absolutely nothing you can do whatsoever. Nothing. Sack. Boom. Let's go. Okay. So, messy position. We'll look at material right away. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Well, okay. I'll ignore whether just a, a, a piece or a rook counts as one. Just, just to simplify. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So, I'm down. I think I'm down a rook. Two pieces down a piece. Okay, I'm down a piece. I had trouble with calculator. So it's my turn, right? It should be. How about this? Possible. There's also this. So I have to examine those moves. But I'm down a piece. I find that relatively attractive because, oh, never mind. I somehow thought my queen was covering this. It's not the case. Um, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with trying this line as a start starting point. Rook. Throw my rook at him, so I could throw my rook here. If bishop takes. So let's just uh, give it. Give me a sec. So if I go like this, it goes there. Rook there. If bishop takes, I take there. And I think I, I think. Uh, I'm very close to maiden. Maybe I can go bishop there. I think he's pretty much eliminated here. So that's a good line. Of course, there's all sorts of things you could do. So if I go like this, like that. What if he refused to take? He doesn't collaborate. Well, is king, can he move? He can't go there. He can't go there and... He can't go there because my queen covers this square. So really, in this case, it really looks like this sacrifice is at least forced to take. I see double now. Yeah, I think like that. He's forced to take a check him. Goes down. And this looks like a, I don't see any solution uh, to that. If I check him, goes there. Well, it's made. Yeah, it's looking really good. Oh, 
Oh, wow, this uh, startled me. Well, uh, I beat my record of all time. At 29, 25. So, okay, I, I, I'd like to know why it's wrong. Uh, we're getting tired, so it's not an excuse. Uh, but seriously, though, uh, oof, exhausting. Main in four. So, queen, so it's queen e8 check. So my move, what's the problem with my move? My move is king c6, and I said I sacrifice this, but it doesn't have to. Okay, so if he takes, uh, I'm still, I'm still losing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought, I thought this. Oh, I can block. Am I right that if he goes there, it's made? Yes. At least that. But what I miss is this, and I missed that he doesn't have to take. He can. Uh, uh, okay, same scenario. So, so it's really the blocking that I missed. I never, I didn't see that he could block me. Well, I did the best I could. I suppose I beat my record by one. Okay. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.